Hello friends, this is Shyalu. Welcome to CPP Flix YouTube channel. In today's video, I would like to explain a new concept, fold expression in C++ 17 standard. With C++ 11, we got variadic templates, which is a great feature, especially if you want to work with a variable type and number of input parameters to a function. Variadic templates require some additional code when you want to implement recursive functions like sum of all the numbers. You had to specify the rules for the recursion when you write a variadic template in C++11. I will explain this with an example. Some function which is implemented as per the C++11 standard. It can accept any number and type of input parameters. I'm not going into all the details of uh, the variadic templates, uh, which will make this video a bit lengthier. I can do it in a separate video. So here how it works. Let's see if we call this with sum of three parameters one, two, three. This function will take the first parameter like one plus it will uh, recursively call this again the sum with remaining parameters. So it will be like one plus sum of two comma three in the second iteration it will take the second parameter 2 plus sum of the remaining parameter. Here it will be sum of 3. In the third iteration, it will take the third parameter 3 plus sum of remaining parameter. All the parameters are uh, handled. So it will be like sum of 0 parameters. This base case. So, since it is handled in a recursive manner, we always need to specify the base case. Otherwise, the compiler will throw an error. In C17, fold expression help us to write this variadic template in a much simpler way. Let's see. Here, I have implemented the same sum function under a different name, sum1, in C17 way, using the fold expression. Actually, fold expression is an instruction for the compiler to repeat the application of an operator over a variadic template pack. See, here, actually, what uh, the sum1 function is doing, it is repeatedly adding all the input parameters. So, what fold expression is doing here is it is applying this addition operator repeatedly over this variadic template pack. So if we compare it with the C++11 standard, no need to write all this base game is and all. Using the fold expression, we can simply write it like this in a single line. It will handle all the cases. So this is C++11 output. We will check the C++17 case some function using the fold expression. See, it will, it can handle um, any number and type of parameters. A template parameter pack can contain any number of parameters including zero. So, uh, 
we expect it should handle that case as well but uh, here uh, it is not handled for handling the case of zero parameter we can just add a zero here so it will handle the base case as well uh, in a single line without writing this base case separately uh, as in C++ 11. See how this full expression makes our variadic template implementation much simpler. That's all for today. Bye. Thank you.